There is a story of four Brahman boys who were looking for wealth. So they went up on the Himalayas. Brahman means devotee, but they were interested in getting wealth. They were thinking, they have just come out of Gurukul training. Now they have to get some wealth and then they can get married and live a happy life. So they went to one sage who was living near the Himalayan mountains and they asked him. My dear sage, we have heard that you are all-knowing, so please tell us where we can find wealth. All right. So now I will put in each of your hands one gi wick. You just hold that in your hand, and you walk up into the Himalayan mountains. Wherever this wick drops during the course of walking up the mountain, at that spot if you dig you will find something valuable. You will find precious metal up to the value of gold. So they were very happy and they went up on the mountains holding their wicks. One of the wicks dropped, so the Brahman digged there and he found copper. Oh, copper, very nice. Why just copper? No, no. I am satisfied, wherever the wick drops, that is my quota, so this is my quota. God has given copper. So he took that and went down. The other boys continued. Another wick dropped. When they dug they found silver. The Brahman was very satisfied. Ah, silver, very nice. Even more valuable. Well silver's alright, but the sage set up to gold. Anyway I've found silver by God's grace, so I'm taking that. So the other two continued. One of their wicks dropped. He dug, and he found gold. All right, here it is, the gold. Enough for both of us. Yes, but I still have my wick. It hasn't dropped yet. Yes, but the sage said nothing more valuable than gold. Well anyway, I still have my wick, so I am going to find my treasure. Well you do as you like, but I am taking this gold. So then the Brahman went high on the Himalayas, up to the very top. And still his wick didn't drop. Then he saw one man in the distance. So he asked him. My dear sir, do you know of any valuable treasure up here? I am looking for wealth. As soon as he said that, his wick dropped. So he thought, there must be something very valuable here. Meanwhile the boy had come a little closer to the man, and he noticed that the man was standing in a strange way, he was not moving, and there was a wheel turning on his head. The middle of the wheel, the hub was grinding into his head and causing blood to flow, and this man was obviously in great pain. When this boy's wig dropped then that wheel was suddenly moving from the other man's head onto his head, and the wheel was turning and he was feeling great pain. He also could not move any more. The wheel was somehow keeping him in place. The other man could move again and he was saying, Oh, I am free. Thank God. Please tell me what is going on here. Why am I suddenly stuck to this spot? I cannot move and this wheel is on my head and it is feeling very painful. What is happening? You have come to the place where Kuber keeps his treasure. He is the treasurer of the demigods and all his wealth. All the wealth of the demigods is buried here and you have come across it. Well, what is this will for? This wheel is a weapon of Kuber which protects his treasure. Oh, so tell me. What is going to happen to me? The same thing that happened to me. I also came up here looking for treasure. I came up with some friends and met an old sage. And he gave us the wicks. My friends got copper, 
silver and gold, but I wanted to go higher. I came up here and the wheel came onto my head. So what can I expect? Well, this wheel will stay on your head and keep you fixed to this place. You will not grow thirsty or hungry. You will just stay and not be able to move until somebody else comes up here looking for treasure. Then you will be released and he will get the wheel on his head. How long were you here? Who is the king of India now? The boy gave the name of some king. Well, when I came up here, Lord Ramchandra was the king. Oh no! That was two million years ago. And then the man was going to leave. No, you can't leave. Yes, I can leave. I'm getting out of here. I have suffered so much. This greedy Brahman was left up there, and probably he's still up there now. Mm.